Please remember that the complete information for the class that you are about to view is at elithecomputerguy.com. Not only do we have our videos there, but we have part lists, diagrams, pictures, and even complete code examples. So if you are watching this video and you want more information, please go to elithecomputerguy.com. Welcome back. As you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy. In today's class, I'm going to be showing you how to create lists within your HTML document. So basically, a list is a normal list that you're used to. You know, a bullet point list or a by the numbers list. That's what I'm going to show you how to do uh, in HTML. So whenever you're going to be creating one of these lists, the first thing that you have to do is you have to decide whether you want it to be an ordered list or an unordered list. So when I say ordered list, I mean it, that there's actually going to be numbers. One, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or an unordered list where essentially you're just going to have bullet points. Um, again, what you decide is, is up to you. Uh, when you're going to be creating these lists, what you do is first you open up the overall tag for the entire list. And so when you open up the overall tag, you will use either OL or UL. So ordered list or unordered list. So you're going to say what this list is going to be. And then within that tag, you're then going to use the li tag uh, to say what the specific list items are. So li item one, close li, li item two, close li, li item three, close li. So it is important to understand with these tags uh, that the only time you're using a different tag is for the entire list itself, either ol or ul for the entire list. The items within the list, whether it is uh, unordered or whether it's ordered, you're always going to be using li. So this can be useful for you, so if you decide to to make an ordered list. Uh, so you use OL for the tag, you create an ordered list, and you're looking at it, you're like, eh, that's not really what I want. I want that to be an unordered list. All you have to do is change the, the opening tag and the closing tag for the entire list uh, to the different, the different list, and then that will modify the entire list for you. The other thing to be thinking about with these lists is you can actually do tiers within list. So basically, like when you're looking at like subcategories, that type of thing. Um, so I'll also show you how to do that today, and that's what we're going to be talking talking about today is how to add lists to your HTML document. So there's no real warning warning in today's particular class. Again, creating lists is relatively easy. You, you open the tag for the list, OL or UL, uh, then you have all the items in the list. Those are encapsulated within the, within the LI tags, uh, and then you close the list and that's it. Uh, the only place where you might get into a little bit of a trouble is when you're doing a tiered list. Uh, so basically when you're doing essentially multiple lists within a list, uh, at that point you do have to keep track of when you open things and when you've closed things and where are you at, where you're at, but this should be rather relatively simple. Again, basically just open the page in a web browser. If it looks how you want it to look, great. If not, go back and tweak the tags. With that, let's go over to the computer and I can show you how to create these lists in HTML. So here we are at my demonstration uh, computer. Again, I am using a Mac, uh, so therefore I'm using text edit. but whenever you're creating these HTML documents, all you need is a text editor, an ASCII text editor. So if you're in the Windows world, you can use Notepad. If you're in the Mac world, you can use text edit. If you're in the Linux world, you can use gedit or vim or nano or whatever you want. Basically just, just something that's an ASCII text editor. Uh, the big thing is when you go to save the document, you save it with the extension of .htm or .htm. HTML. This means that whenever your computer deals with that file, it'll know it's supposed to be opened with a web browser. Again, uh, when I'm showing you these, these demonstrations, I'm not creating a full web page like you quote unquote should. Um, I'm not encapsulating everything within HTML tags. I'm not using head tags. I'm not using body tags. I'm not, I'm not doing this specifically how your HTML document should look if you're presenting this to your boss or to a client. But again, in the HTML world, the cool thing is I can simply write out basic HTML code uh, and it will show up in a web browser even if I haven't formatted everything properly. I do this just so we can focus on the specific lesson that I'm trying to teach for today. Uh, so here um, I have uh, three different lists that I've created. Uh, the first list is an unordered list. Now again, for the title of the list, you have, you have to understand the title of a list is going to be separate than the list itself. Uh, so with this, I'm using a basic P tag just to say this is an unordered list. 
list, and then I'm closing the P tag. Uh, under this, uh, we're going to be using the UL tag. So this is unordered list tag. Uh, and then within the unordered list tag, we're then going to write out all the items. So we open the LI tag, we say what the, the first item is, and then we close the LI tag. So each one of these, basically this is one bullet point or this is one point in the list. So we open the LI tag, we say item two, we close the LI tag, we open the LI tag, we say item three, and then we close the LI tag. And then with this, then we close uh, the UL tag. And so this is going to be our full unordered list. So we're gonna look, we're gonna look when this opens up on a web browser, it's gonna say unordered list. Then we're gonna see item one, two, and three, and there's going to be bullet points in front of this particular list. Then we're gonna go down and we take a look at the ordered list example. Again, I just simply type ordered list out using the P tags, because again, the title of the list will be separate from the list itself. And then for the ordered list, uh, we open the ordered list with the OL tag. So really simple, UL tag or OL tag, pick one. And then with this, again, the exact same as we had before, or you can simply copy and paste this. So LI, we open up the LI tag. The first item, we close the LI tag. Open up the LI tag for the second item, close the LI tag, open up the LI tag for the third item, close the LI tag, and then we are going to close the ordered list tag. And so this will be an ordered list. So it'll say ordered list, and it'll say one, item one, two, item two, uh, three, item three. Now we go down here to a tiered list. And this is where, oh, this is, this, is, this is where it can give you a bit of a headache. So with this, um, I'll show this to you in a second in the web browser, but basically this is where there's multiple, so like there's subsections within a list. So think about like one, you know, there's, there's item one and then item 1.1 and item, 2.1, that type of thing, it's a tiering. And so basically with this, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating lists within the list, right? So we have the tiered list, and then we're going to open up the tiered list with a UL for unordered list. We're then going to have the first item, and then under that, we're going to create another list. So we're gonna use UL, and then we're gonna have the second item, then under that, we're going to create a third list, that's a UL, so that's gonna be the sub-sub item. Then we're gonna use UL to open up another list. That item's gonna be the sub-sub-sub item. And then when we get done with that, we have to close all of those lists that we just created. And then we go down to item two and item three, and then we close the UL. So this, this is one of those that can give you a bit of a headache. Uh, so you may just have to play with this a little bit. Uh, then to see what we're actually gonna get with this, if I double click on the list.html, we can see what this document looks like. So we have the unordered list as we had up here. Again, we up, open up the unordered list. We have item one, item two, item three. And again, in front of those items, you simply have the, the basic bullet point. Uh, then down here for the ordered list, again, OL is a tag. Exact same thing with items. LI, item one, item two, item three. We close the OL tag. And so now we have item one, item two, and item three. But instead of having bullet points in front of them, we now have numbers. So this is item one, item two, and obviously item three. And that's all there is to it. Then we come down here to the tiered list. And this is where, like I say, it can give you a bit of a headache. <laughs> this is one of those things where, you know, you take a look at it and you play around and you experiment and, and, and then you'll get it after a bit. It's, it's, it's like basic math. Like when, you first, when you're first dealing with it, it seems complicated. But then after you've done it a couple of times, it actually gets to be simple. So this is where I'm saying it's a tiered list. So we have item one. So we have item one, right? That's the first and that's the bullet point. And then we have the sub item. So when I do a sub item, it just comes up, it's kind of like that bullet point with a little, like a donut bullet point. And then we have the sub sub item, the sub sub item then has a little square and then a sub 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 item that still has a square, right? So again, think about this. Um, if you were creating some kind of like index for like a book or if you're trying to, you know, create like a, a, a table of contents or something, maybe for a manual or for a book or that type of thing, uh, you might be, you might create this kind of tiered list. Again, also remember with this, with tags, um, I could be creating uh, hyperlinks within this too. So so this could be a hyperlink to a section, and this could be a hyperlink to a section, and this could be a hyperlink to a section, this could be a hyperlink to a section. So 
when you're looking at this, think about how you can build it out using using all of your available tags. So maybe again, maybe sometimes it's for lists, maybe sometimes it's for like a table of contents, that type of thing, you know, so on and so forth. But this is basically all there is uh, to creating a list. Uh, you either use the UL tag or the OL tag unordered list or ordered list you then have your items they're all encapsulated within the li tags uh, and then it spits it out the only complicated thing at all is again when you go come down this tiered list and this is basically it's, it's literally one of those things where you just sit there and you you type it out how you think it's supposed to go and then you open up in the web browser and then you try to figure out why what what's in the web browser doesn't look like what you thought you were typing uh, and you go from there so there you go. Now you know how to create lists in your HTML document. Again, you have unordered lists and you have ordered lists. Uh, where this can start to get interesting is again, as I say, you can use multiple tags when you're creating an HTML document or something in HTML. So you can have a list and then the items in the list can be hyperlinks to different things. So uh, so let's say you're, you're going to be writing a recipe. So a recipe for, I don't know, cakes or cookies or something like that. Uh, and let's say you're going to be creating a website where you want to get money from affiliate links so basically what you could do is you could have a list of all the ingredients uh, for the particular recipe and all the all the items in that list can be hyperlinks to places where people can purchase uh, that that particular product um, so those are some of the types of things to think about or again if you're using hyperlinks uh, maybe to basically doing something like a, a the table of contents or a menu structure so people can jump to different places within your website. But that is all there is uh, really to a list in an HTML document. As always, I enjoyed uh, teaching this class and look forward to seeing you at the next one. If you like the content that I create, please think about going to elinethecomputerguy.com and becoming a member or donating. Please understand that all the educational videos are in front of the paywall. That includes the videos, that includes the notes, the diagrams, and the code example. All of that is freely available and in front of the paywall. But if you want to watch opinion videos or if you want to be able to comment, you do need to become a member. Membership is $5 a month or $60 a year and gives you access to those opinion videos and the ability uh, to comment. If you don't want to become a member, you just want to give a one-time uh, donation, there is also a donate button where you can do that. Please understand, in order to provide the education that I am, it does cost money. The servers cost money, equipment costs money, travel costs money. All of these things cost a reasonable amount of money. And the fact of the matter is, is YouTube's advertising program no longer supports creators the way that it used to. So if you want to these classes to continue to stick around and you find them to be valuable, please think about either becoming a monthly member or donating a few dollars for this project.